Attention to orders. The Military District of Washington, Sergeant Audie Murphy Award is presented to the following non-commissioned officer for exhibiting outstanding competence, superior performance, and dedication to duty throughout this vigorous process while setting the example for all to follow. Sergeant First Class Andrea Collins from the 782nd Military Intelligence Battalion is Fort Meade's newest member of the Sergeant Audie Murphy Association. The award recognizes the best of the best in the Army NCO Corps. Congratulations, Sergeant Collins. Hello and welcome to Meade Week. I'm Brian Spen. Also this week, a new partnership with Howard County. It's Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, and the Army Housing App is available to everyone. These stories and more, but first at the monthly installation town hall, Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Chris Nyland began with a negative trend in COVID transmission rates. And we're still at HPCon Bravo, and unfortunately I'm here to tell you that we are going to remain in HPCon Bravo for the foreseeable future. In the intervening time period, uh, week over week, the case rates in the five surrounding counties around Fort Meade have increased every week. Uh, by double digit percentages. Um, just yesterday, the first of our five surrounding counties transitioned from low to a moderate transmission area or a medium transmission area, and several of the other counties are not far behind. Uh, so ultimately, we, we believe and I believe that we've got the right uh, health, protect, health protection condition level and we've got the right mitigation uh, measures in place. Please remember that the situation is fluid and could change at any time. You can watch the complete town hall on our Facebook page. Just click on videos. In other news, Fort Meade and Howard County have entered into an Intergovernmental Support Agreement, or IGSA, for stormwater engineering services. The agreement was recognized as the 100th of its kind for the Army. Lieutenant General Douglas Gabram, Commander of Installation Management Command, was on hand for the ceremony. IGSAs are formal partnerships between Army installations and state or local governments. At this week's signing ceremony, Howard County Executive Dr. Calvin Ball talked about the importance of collaboration. This IGSA is a critical tool for regional collaboration and this year we've worked together to provide stormwater engineering and construction services for Fort Meade. With our new IGSA, Fort Meade can access Howard County government consultants to contract with local firms for engineering, design, surveying, stormwater repair, and retrofit projects. Garrison Commander Colonel Chris Nyland reiterated this is just the latest example of Fort Meade's partnership with the surrounding communities. This effort is only the most recent in a history of partnerships between our organizations. Whether helping us identify a creative water solution that literally keeps the computers running behind the fence at NSA, or teaming up with Anne Arundel County and entering in a first of its kind workforce development ag uh, agreement to help improve spouse and transitioning service member employment options, you've been there. And you continue to demonstrate what makes the Central Maryland community such a great, fantastic place to work live and be a member of the military. In housing news, Army Housing announced just recently that the Army Housing app is now available to iPhone users at the Apple Store. The app is for service members and their families looking for information on Army family housing, unaccompanied housing, and off-post housing for installations all over the world. You'll find floor plans, photo tours, waitlist information, and much more. Once again, the Army Housing app now available to iPhone users. Elsewhere, Club Meet hosted this year's Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month observance. This year's event featured cultural dance performances from the Tumac Dance Company and Miss Aishwarya Ayer. This year's guest speaker, Purple Heart recipient, and the Air Force Senior Enlisted Advisor at the Defense Media Activity, Chief Master Sergeant Jason David. The Department of Defense has made a deliberate effort to be inclusive, supportive, and promote education in regards to the contributions of minorities in the workforce, if not the nation. Events like today highlight these achievements, enabled by Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders from all walks of life, coming together to contribute to the melting pot that is America, a future that we can all be proud of. Chief David's speech was very well received. You can watch it on our Facebook page. Once again, just click on videos. We close this week's show with more video from this year's observance. That's Me Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at MeTV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.